Hi, my name is Dave Bova. I'm here at Makeup First. This is Jamie, and today we're gonna prep Jamie's head for a wig. And the proper way to do pin curls is like thus. A pin curl is when you take two fingers, place them at the root, wrap them around your fingers, take the tips of your fingers, now turn and touch the head. Then you're gonna slide the hair off and that is a pin curl. If you use your right hand, you'll get a pin curl that goes towards the face to the left of the part. And if you use your left hand on the left side of the part, the pin curl will go away. On the other side of the part, the rules are just reversed. So I'm orienting the hair to where I want it, which is right here. And those little guys, don't worry about those, we'll pin those in after. Doing a proper pin curl, and this time, because of the length, I'm using a single finger. You simply take the bobby pin and slide it in the hair without opening it. Now I put one pin curl here, and these little guys here, I can slide in, take another pin, and pin it straight back. I'm gonna put one there, put one here, do not cross the bobby pin. So we can parallel pin them. Do you see that? That's a perfect pin curl. Take a large section here. I'm gonna use my right hand on the left side to have the hair go towards the face and back. So I'm gonna continue pin curling the entire head. You're really trying to be as flat as you can. Now, we're working towards the nape. And do you remember when we spoke about the block? If you looked at the tutorial for Makeup First for blocking a wig, we discussed the occipital bone, and that's a little bump in the back. And you can really feel that right here. It's important that you do not pin front to back. You must pin outside to inside. Outside to inside. Now this is a complete pin curl set. But what's important to note is that we have a finger space in front of the whole hairline. It's also important to note that these pin curls are as close to the edge of the hairline as possible. Also notice the pin curls are not going over the ear, but they follow the hairline. Essentially a wig cap is a shortened version of a knee high. Now also, if you're going to get the knee high, make sure you get the larger sizes, otherwise they won't fit on someone's head. Now if you want to go full on pro, which I know you do, you can go to most any drugstore and they usually carry at least the black ones and often the other colors. There are different opinions, people have different ideas of what they like. What I like is to match the wig cap to the color of the hair. Here's how to put on a wig cap. First, the performer will take their fingers, like a bowl, and put them over their forehead like this. Grasp it into her fingers. She's gonna pinch with her thumbs and pull it just above the eyebrows. We're gonna take it and then slide it down. And we're going to cup it over everything. Notice, it's over the ears, it's down to the middle of the forehead, and it's cupped over the occipital and all the pin curls. The next tool we'll be using is a hair pin. And you're gonna put them in where each pin curl is. Now notice what I'm doing. Pinning the wrong way, turning, and sliding it in. Pin here, turn, pin, turn. And this goes across the entire front. Now finally, we're going to work our way to the back. So we pin from outside, turn, to inside. Also, what you can do is you can tuck this inside and create a little pocket. And this is a really great place, if you're ever working in a musical, to take and put your microphone. You'll take the microphone, slide it into this little pocket that you've created, and pin it closed. And this is where the microphone can live. Otherwise, pin, and then simply pin the other side down. And this is the proper way to prep the head. 
This is the exact perfect way to do a full head of pin curls with a wig cap, and now the head is prepped and ready to wear a wig. This is Dave Bova, I'm here with Jamie at Makeup First, and I hope you enjoyed our tutorial.